Oye, yo no pienso que están listos para esto. Strong dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a bilingual drive by the sin that you went to is hatred in God's eyes. This an attack on the heathen, the angels and spiritual watch you can see them. This is a lateral movement, the progress we making this for what we doing. What I'm oh, like this. A better way to do things is not to pressure Don't people. Tell, like, us, like, like, tell us a better way to do anything. No, I'm saying not to pressure Because you, you can't show it to us. No, where can we go to see you doing a better thing? No. Hold on. Where can God, we go? Look. Where can we go to see you doing it better so we can learn from you? God gives us a choice. Wait, does, where, does where, he, you know, about choices. We've been asking my question all day, bro. Where can we go to see you do it better? Where can we go to see you do it better? Where? Shut, tell us where to go. But he give us choice. Right, so don't come here offering ways for us to do it better. We ain't doing nothing. I'm saying don't pressure nobody. You know what I'm saying? We pressure whoever don't we want. Up, don't get locked up and do ten. Do, like, don't, don't do that. And then, you, look, you have to do what that guard tells you. And then she's going to beat your friend. That's not my, my desire is for none of my brothers to be locked up. None of them. Exactly. Your none. desire. But if you have to go, what's going to happen? It, it, Paul went. I, no, Price this, went. It's different. Peter went. Trust James me. got put to death. John the Baptist got his head cut off. It's different. What Bible are you reading, bro? It's different, man. Which one? So I got everybody on my. So hey. my desire is not for my people to get locked up. Right. That's not my desire. But it happens. And when you have conflict, that's what the devil likes. He don't like that. Uh, it's, he he, he likes when people conflict. I'm not conflicting with you. I'm agree with you. Conflict on is coming to a group that's out here teaching their people to repent and to keep God's commandments and to stop sinning. And then for you to come to us and tell us, you know what, y'all would do it better if you do it this way. But you have nowhere for us to go to see you do it better. You have nowhere to go to see you. Need to come to my, you need to come visit my church one time. You said you ain't been in four years. Oh, no, because that's something I decided not to do. So what are you talking about? You tell you you, why so you want us to go you to a place? You, you haven't been, been to him for years? You tell you why I been? It's crazy, bro. You want tell you why I been? Crazy. Well, you got to sit down for a while. You got to I understand. All right, stay behind the bars. Get behind the bars. Where you at? Try it. Revelation, Revelation 18 and verse 6. Listen good, bro. Reward her even. This is what the Bible said. Listen, listen. Who's you got? This is Revelation chapter 18, verse 6. Bro, listen. listen to this Reward her even as she rewarded you. This is talking about the other nations that took us into slavery. God says reward them as they rewarded you. Come on. And double unto her. No, the same. Double unto her. Did you see what they did to us? I got the brochure of family. I, got, I saw the baby. I saw, I saw the brochure of family. I saw the, I saw the baby with the alligator. Reward her. Right, right, right. Right. I saw reward. Huh? So we gotta do double to them. What that look like? So hey, you doing all the you don't want to talk about it's okay. I'm fine. And double unto her, double according to her works. So the scriptures say that the nation that took, in the, that took us into slavery is gonna get double. That's what the Bible says because of the things that they've done to God's people. That's why he so, say don't marry so, the other so, nation. So, so tell me this: Do you consider yourself a uh, Hebrew? I'm an Israelite. Is it a Hebrew Israelite? I'm an Israelite. Complete. In the story. In Israel, I'm from the tribe of Judah. All right. That's who in, I am. in the story. That's all. Who are you? Hey, I'm a man of God. Thank God now. Where is you come from? Where, where tribe you come from? Look, look. I'm a man of God. That's all I'm saying. I haven't tried to look up my tribe because the books they telling you. The same man, you know white man, say, the same white man you say you printed that printed. You know why we say we men of God and we we, we we don't say that we Israelite? Because we cleave to the other nations. And God say don't make marriages with them. Give me that in 2nd Ezra chapter 8, verse 69. This is why we say, I'm a man of God. This is why we say that. I'm gonna show you why. We can't say that I'm an Israelite, because if I say that, uh, that means I got standards. Uh, that means God got expectations for me. I mean, I can't do whatever the hell I want to do. First Ezra, first Ezra chapter 8. First Ezra chapter 8, verse 69. That's what that means when we say that. Let him see it so he can read along with you. I'm gonna make a sign up. First Esther. Read what you got. Yes, sir. It's the book of Exodus, verse 8, verse 69. Look up right here. And when these things were done, the rulers came unto me and said, The nation of Israel, the princes, the priests, and the Levites. That's who you are. But when you say that you are a nation, when you say that you're an Israelite, right? You're, you're making recognition that God calls you a nation, right? When you say you're black or you're a child of God, when you say you're a child of God, you're not you're, you're you're not admitting that there's a differences that there's differences between nations. But when you say you're an Israelite, that means oh, there's many nations on the earth. We're not all equal. God doesn't love everybody. 
You understand? All of these thoughts come when you say you're a people. We when you say you're a child of God. Do you agree we all sin? When you say you're a child of God. Do you agree we all sin? Hold on. When, when we say, all? Yes or no? Yes or yes or no? Say, 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 we all sin, right? When we say, let's stay here first, then we'll answer that question. Been doing that forever. You got a good memory. You know what I'm saying? Right? So we'll deal with that question after we answer this one. All right? When you say that you come from a child of God, what you're saying is, Everybody is the same when we're not. If we were, the Bible wouldn't say this. Read it again from the top. The nation of Israel, the prince, the priest, and Levites. That's who we are. We're the Israelites. Come on. Have not put away from them the strange people of God, the land. Because God said, put away the strange people of the name of the land. Who are the strange people of the land? Come on. And all the pollutions of the Gentiles. Of the who? Of the Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles of the land? Who are the Gentiles? I'm, I'm letting you talk right now. Who, I'm asking you, who are no, the Gentiles? I'm that question, you ask my okay. okay, you don't know who the Gentiles are. I'll tell you. Read. No, the Hittites you know. are the Canaanites. The Canaanites are Gentiles. Come on. The Hittites are Gentiles. Parasites. The Parasites are Gentiles. Jebusites. The who? Jebus the Jebusites are, 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 are Gentiles. Come on. The Moabites. The Egyptians. The Egyptians are, is, are, are, I'm sorry, the Egyptians are Gentiles. Come on. And Edomites. And who? And Edomites. The Edomites are strange Gentiles who we should have put away, meaning not married. That's what the scriptures say. That's what it says. So we can't make marriages with them. The Bible says that, right? The Bible says that. Now to answer your next question, give me uh, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse four. Did you say, are we all under sin? And it comes short of the glory. We know that. I'm about to answer the question. You know this. Notice. Aren't we all under sin, right? This is why we're all under sin. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33, verse 4. Come on. Moses commanded us a law. God said Moses commanded us a law. What's sin according to the Bible? Anything that don't represent the Ten Commandments in my book. According to the according Bible. According to the Bible, the Ten sin? Commandments, you need to follow them. They're more. I hold that. But those, first are, the main, those, are, the main, those are the main commandments. Hold on. First John, chapter 3, verse 4. First John chapter 3 verse 4. This is the book of First John chapter 3. First John chapter 3 verse 4. Read what you got. This is the book of John chapter 3 verse 4. Whosoever committed sin. What does the Bible say? Whosoever committed sin. Come on. Transgressive also the law. What is sin? Read. For the law. For the sin is. Read, read, read that part again. You messed it up. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. When you commit sin, you break the law. Come on. But sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is what? What did the Bible say sin was? You said transgression. I'm listening. Sin. Read that part again. Sin I'm is what? Sin is the, the transgression right. of the law. So sin is to break God's laws. Right. 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 Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 4. So how we get forgiveness for... for Hold on. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 4. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 4. Come on. So Moses commanded us a law. God says that the law was given to the nation of Israel, not everybody. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.